Hey guys, welcome back. We're in familiar territory here. This is a common place. We're just getting up and I'm about to have myself some breakfast. I brought my dog out with me this time. I didn't record anything last night, but it's okay. But let's get some breakfast. Let's get our day started because I'm gonna do a little bit of running around and I'm gonna come right back here. And as you can see, I took the roof rack off because we're not going to an, and any overlanding adventures. Mac is with me today. He's ready to eat as well. Well, he already had his breakfast. I usually give him some snacks when I'm eating just to keep him quiet, but he just saw another dog and went haywire. It's my electric blanket hanging out the window. But let's get started on this breakfast. You know, I can't get my day started without my small amount of coffee or hot chocolate. Have that brewing. This kettle only takes about 900 watts for about five minutes, so it doesn't take much off your battery. It's pretty cool. I use a portable power station or my battery bank to brew the... But here it is here, if I can get it in the picture. It uses about 940 watts. I have my inverter back here for the water. Usually use that to rinse out my cup, but it's hard to do it with one hand. Yeah, my hot water just finished brewing. Learned from a mistake last time. I just leave the cup down on my little bench here so I don't have any accidental spillage. Hopefully this thing doesn't sweep up. Oh, thank you, it didn't. Gotta remember to leave some room for the milk. Hmm. Pour just enough. It's pretty cool. Now, I'll leave this down here. I have my milk in here. Take out the big thing and just have this little one here. It's good enough. Stirred a little hot chocolate up a little. Make it nice and creamy. For any of you that ever want to know if it gets messy while you're cooking, everyone living in the van or the Jeep or anything, yes, it gets really messy when you are uh, cooking. So I try to clean up as I go. It does look a little bit messy in the back here. So here's the back where, you know, I have my breakfast out where I'm about to prepare it. So everything is kind of like out of place, but I put it back in place as soon as I'm finished. Breakfast of champions. This is what a pre-breakfast looks like for me. I enjoy it. It's healthy. Van life, SUV life breakfast. So, I'm about to pour my breakfast out. It's really cool. I just take some of this non-fat yogurt. I like Greek yogurt, but they didn't have much of it. So, I just got some of this uh, plain yogurt here. It's a plain non-fat yogurt. It's really good. And I have my French vanilla almond granola. Pretty good too. And that's pretty much my breakfast. It's not bad. It's healthy. It's filling. And I like it. I like to take all the air out of this bag because the less air that's in there, the better it fits back into places. I don't know if y'all see my pup over there, but that's his little area that he likes to go in. Whenever I'm 
cooking. Stir this up a little bit. This is delicious. Now let me put this somewhere safe where it's not going to spill because I had that little accident before and it didn't go over too well. So I just put this back in here and it sits in the place. Take this and we go sit back in the front. That's the trunk there closed. Come on, puppy. Stay. All right, I'm back in the car. Let me give my doggy some of his snacks. He already had his breakfast, but let me get my food away from him because he likes to go a little bonkers. Uh, my light switch is so far back, but I usually give him like one or two of these and it keeps him quiet. It's a little dog bone. We get these from Walmart or Aldi. And it keeps him quiet. Want to see him grab it? Up here, puppy. Here. Nice and gentle. And then I eat. Mm. Really good. It's really healthy to eat. And it's really nice. So I try to eat this a lot. I'm gonna see if I turn on the light. Will it brighten up in here? I don't know. It's hard for me to reach it. Did it brighten a little bit in here? I have another light back here. Let's see if it uh, brightened up just a bit in here. Sometimes it does. The lights are in the corner over there. But hopefully it lightens up a little bit in here. Oh, I got some mess on my jug. It's okay. Mmm. It's really good. Want another one? Here. Some people ask me about my pump. I think I went over the pump before. Where it's a regular wall outlet pump. I had it lying around the house. And then I uh, hooked it up to a 300 watt inverter. The inverter is hooked up to my fuse box. The pump doesn't have a switch on it, so I hooked it up to the inverter that has a switch, and that's the only thing plugged in. It has USB outlets on the inverter, but I don't use it. I can because it's all the way in the back, but I have other gadgets in the back too that I can plug into. I gotta show you guys something. A lot of people living in their vans and SUVs you use your outlets a lot. So sometimes your outlets may burn out. So you try to look through the manual to try to find the issue. And <clears throat> it's very hard to find the issue. So for an example, I have the manual that came with this car. This thing is hard to find. Look how many pages that is. It's very hard to find what you're looking for. So when it comes to fuses, you have, and most cars, the main fuse box is going to be in the engine bay. So I'll show you where I found mine and how to fix certain issues like the 12 volt cigarette lighter ports, the USB ports. A lot of times those are on 20 amp fuses. So I'll show you guys how to use that. It's very simple. Sorry, my phone was far away. I don't need to shave, but it's okay. So these are the ports that I'm talking about. Sometimes these get blown out if you use too much power or whatever you're using is drawing too much that the car can accept. So once you open up your engine, this is mostly for like keys, but in most of the cars is going to be on your right hand side. This is the fuse box and the engine bay. So you just take this off. Once you take it off, it's gonna expose 
your fuses. Now, underneath the cover, which most people don't know, here's the cover. You have an outline of where all your fuses are. So I'm gonna put this down right here and try to zoom in. Hopefully the sun doesn't block it. But as you can see, you have power outlet one and two. These are your, your first one. Let me see if I can turn this way because the sun is blocking it. So over here, you have your power outlet one, and then you have your power outlet two. Those are 20 amp fuses. So you look at your fuse box, here's your fuse box, and here are your 20 amps here. It's over here. If you get confused, you just look. It's in the second row. Just look here if you're confused. This is in the second row. So this is your second row, and it's the first two fuses, one and two. So those are your cigarette outlet adapter ports. So you can pull those out with this nifty tool here, and that's how you see which one is blown. You'll see like a black smoke mark when it's blown. I'll show you that when we get back in. It's great when you're out here and nobody's out here. You can take your time and learn your car. And you have a nice trained pup that sits down and takes pictures for you. It's so cool. This is the other view. Well, let's go back in the car so I can show you the pop fuse. Okay, it may be hard to see, but this is what the fuse look like. This is like a mini 20 amp fuse. You have the bigger ones, and this is like the small ones that go in the vehicles. But if you can see like that black mark in the middle of this fuse, that's how you know the fuse has, has a problem. It's like a little black mark in there. It should be all silver. It shouldn't have that black mark. So that's how you know that there's an issue with the fuse and it popped. Once you fix it, it works perfectly. All you have to do is change it out. record this area a lot because I really like the scenery and I love the lake view. I do have to fuel up and run a few errands. I have to show you guys what my wife bought me. It's pretty, pretty cool. But I'll show you a little later in the video. My wife doesn't like me holding the phone when, I, uh, when I'm on the road. So she bought me something to stick up on the window and I always tell her, I have a prop that I put the phone on when I'm talking. Sometimes it moves, sometimes it doesn't. But she bought me something that sticks on the windshield, which is really cool. But I'm going to let you guys see that in a second. I have to fuel up with gas first and make a few errands. How far would it go? I had issues with the... Uh, the gas said it was empty but I was parked on an angle for a little bit but as soon as I started driving the issue fixed itself but I'm thinking this should go to about 40 to 45 bucks look at someone peeking out there little man wow that's more than I expected let's go into the post office I go how long I'll be in here nobody knows but into the post office I go. Right, finally back in. Boy, do I need to shave. I'm gonna shave tomorrow though. But uh, delivered the packages off. I, uh, when I bought this car, that's my dog barking at people. Uh-uh, quiet down, Mac. When I bought this car, I tried to get the plates transferred over, but they weren't able to get transferred. So I had to send the plates back to the DMV. I had to send two plates back. And I had to pick up some packages that were delivered to me for some reviews, but that's all right. What is my dog barking at? Mac, what are you barking at? What are you barking at, buddy? What are you barking at? I don't know what you're barking at. Well, we're off to finish off our day. Stay tuned, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'm gonna take this opportunity to ask you guys, if you stuck around this long, please consider subscribing. We need a lot. I would love to have a lot more subscribers. And I try to reach out to every one of you 
when you comment or you ask any questions, whether it's here on the YouTube platform or it's on the Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok platforms, I always socialize and interact with the audiences. So come aboard, ask anything. I have a great deal of knowledge about cars, battery systems, camper build outs. As you can see, you can ask anything you want. Remember, we have links to everything that we use in these videos on our Amazon storefront. If you use the links from any of the descriptions in the, any of the videos, Amazon does throw us a little commission. It doesn't change the prices of anything. It's just Amazon's way of thanking us for showing you these products. At the bottom of the description list, there's a Facebook group that we have, the Smalls RV Adventures. You can hit the link or go on Facebook and search groups and look for the Smalls RV Adventures. During our groups, you get up-to-date information of where we're gonna be. And if you see my name, Ricky Smalls, look for the reels, because I post a lot of reels nearly every day about current events that we're doing, and it's just a lot of fun. We have the same sort of platform on TikTok and Instagram. So join us on there, the Smalls RV Adventures. So this is what my wife bought me. It's a 4K dash cam. It's really, really cool. It records as I'm driving so I can like record great scenery from this thing. I'm gonna put a link down in the description for it. It's really, really cool. It's from Amazon. If you go to the regular store link, you're not gonna find it. It's available at Amazon. I was pretty much rushing, so I didn't get to clean my dish. I just threw it in the refrigerator so the dog wouldn't clean it for me. But I'm gonna go back there and clean it now. And I'm enjoying my nice hot chocolate. This is another lake right behind me. It's part of the same lake that I show in a lot of these areas. Um, well, the same area, but a different entrance to the lake you can take boats and everything over here it's really cool but it's really next to a forest it's a lake inside the forest it's pretty cool i'm going to show you the area right in front of me it's amazing to look at as far as you can see it's trees and all over there this is one of the areas where i saw a big black bear I mean, it was huge. So this is kind of funny. I was running, so I threw my bowl inside the fridge. But I'm gonna clean it now. I got my baby wipes. Look at it now, and then I'm gonna show you how it looks when it's been done clean with just baby wipes. All right, this is everything clean. It doesn't get much cleaner than this. And that's just with the baby wipes. And then I have my little garbage bag that I keep down here too. Everything stays nice and secure. And my coffee is sitting nice and secure over there. And what I do with this is I just put it back. Like I usually have all of this under the bed, so, but I was driving and rushing, so I didn't put it all back. But just keep it in here. This is one of my kids supply buckets from their school. And once we put their supplies away, I was able to use these buckets just to hold a lot of the, snacks in that I eat during the, the week so that's its own place here I'm driving I don't have much heat on in the car but it stays at 60 degrees in here it's really comfortable but let's get back on our way again these are some nice views here you can take your boat down there next week this is gonna freeze over fully but it's really cool fire department can come here and get connected put some fires out wildlife fires but this space is like really nice and in the winter you can stay here all day it's really cool i don't see any signs saying that you can't stay here one thing i do is i always look at the places that i'm gonna stay to see if i see any signs saying that you can't stay and once i see that you can stay i stay a long time now, if it says no parking at night, I just leave at night and find somewhere else that I can stay. So that that's really good about stealth camping and just SUV camping. You have a lot more places to stay if you need to stay if you're traveling across the U.S. You can stay in rest areas. You can stay in regular parking lots in the city. You can stay in rest areas, like I said before, Walmart, Cracker Barrel. It's a lot of places to stay. And 
in the mornings, that's when I usually cook all my food because going at night to cook somewhere in the parking lot, I mean, it gives yourself up and people can call and complain. So I usually find areas like this and I'll cook my meals for a day or maybe two. And then I have like a small mini heater in the car. Doesn't take much watts to heat up. It's like 40 watts per hour. And usually within two hours or even an hour, my food can heat up. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. As I mentioned before, I would love to have new subscribers. So if you like any of the content that we're bringing and we're trying to show a lot of building in a lot of these videos, just to show people that it's very easy to put electrical in your SUV, your van, whatever you have, step-by-step -step guidance, come over to the channel. It's just an additional channel that you can watch and we would love to have you aboard. You can ask us any questions down in the comments. We'll get back to you. If you want to talk more on a detailed level, we have Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok that has the messenger under the Smalls RV Adventures, and we can answer any of your questions. We can even help you out through a build, even an electrical build, just by talking and sending pictures, just showing you what to do. Come aboard. If you like any of the products that we use, again, it's going to be links down in the description for everything that we use. Again, if you use the links to buy anything from Amazon, from our description, we do get a small commission from Amazon. That, Amazon, that commission is just Amazon's way of thanking us for showing you guys the products. Doesn't change the price of the product. Also, there's a thanks button down below. If you want to help out the channel in any way, that's what that button is for. Anything we get for the channel goes right back into the channel. So thank you a lot for that. We also have a merch store right below this video or to the side of the video. It has a lot of things for the winter, for the summer, for your pets, for your household. Take a look. So until next time, see you later, everybody, and enjoy this weather. Whether you're on the East Coast, West Coast, Midwest, Northeast, we're going to be cold. But enjoy the weather. See you later, everybody.